Welcome to our Kendo Angular tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with grids. Our viewer is trying to implement a column of checkboxes in their Kendo Angular 2 grid. They followed the documentation example, but are unsure how to manage the checked state of all items when the header checkbox is clicked. Let's dive into the details and explore the best approach to solve this challenge. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To implement a checkbox column in your Kendo Angular 2 grid, we will start by modifying the grid's template. First, ensure you have the necessary imports for the Kendo grid and Angular material checkbox. Next, let's add the checkbox column to your grid. In your components template, you will define a new column for checkboxes. This includes a header checkbox for selecting all items and individual checkboxes for each row. Now, we need to implement the logic for the header checkbox. When the header checkbox is clicked, it should toggle the checked state of all items in the grid. We will do this in the check all clicked method. Finally, ensure that your data model includes a checked property for each item. This will allow the grid to reflect the checked state correctly. You can initialize this property when fetching or creating your data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user found a cleaner solution for implementing a checkbox column in a Kendo Angular 2 grid. They recommend using the Kendo grid dash checkbox column component. In the grid attributes, they suggest using selected keys and Kendo grid select by to manage selected rows. In the controller, they define methods to handle row selection and the select all functionality, ensuring that only filtered data is checked. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this implementation of a Kendo Angular 2 grid with a checkbox column, the user utilizes grid data result for data binding. They define local variables to manage grid data and selection state. The HTML structure includes a Kendo grid with a checkbox column. It's important to set the header column to sortable equals false to ensure the click event works correctly. Data binding is done through a method that processes the student data based on the grid's state. The select all students change function updates the checkbox states based on user interaction. The select all students change function toggles the selection of all students based on the header checkbox state, updating the bound data accordingly. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya.
Have a good one. Well, 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 well.